Hey guys, this is Eric with HustlePaintball.com. I uh, got a pretty cool video for all you First Strike fans out there. Lapco actually made a uh, First Strike Ready rifled barrel or FSR barrel. Um, this barrel that I'm holding in my hand is auto cocker thread um, and it's also four, standard 14 inches. Um, it's also available in the A5 threading as you can see in our TPX and spider threads as you can see on our Hammer 7. And if you have any Tiberius or Lapco tip accessories, these are threaded for them. So for the sake of this video, we're gonna use our favorite tip here, which is the, uh, the phantom tip. It's probably the coolest looking in our opinion, uh, as aside from the suppressor. But this barrel um, is the only barrel that actually assists first strike rounds in the rifling process. Uh, Lapco claims that you can get a increased range and accuracy so before we go outside and actually test this, um, there is a, a uh, velocity change, uh, a noticeable velocity change that they made us aware of, um, going from the standard barrel or non-rifled barrel to the FSR barrel. Uh, the velocity does drop, but uh, before we actually go outside and do the test, I'm gonna take this outside and actually show you how much it drops and how to adjust that out. So let's take our dam here and head outside. Okay, what we're gonna do is put a couple first strike rounds through this UL barrel, the stock barrel on the diet dam, and then uh, get it nice and chrono to a field limit, obviously under, underneath 300, and then we're gonna put on the FSR and see how much it drops and start chronoing. Turn the gun on. Two eighty one, two ninety, two eighty two. Turn the gun back off here. In goes the FSR. Turn the gun back on. See what we got. 216. 253. 239. So obviously we need to go up a little bit higher. Two ninety seven. Two ninety three. Two ninety eight. So obviously the first shot. Dropped it down to 216, you know, 220 ish. Uh, the following shot was around 253. I'm gonna call it a spike. So it, it was from, you know, 290 ish down to 240 range. Uh, it's a pretty significant drop. So upping, in, you know, raising it up another 50 feet or feet per second uh, brought, me up, brought us up back up to the uh, to the field limit. Now, since we have this in chrono, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on the opposite side of this fence over here behind Hustle and set up a long range target so we can actually put this thing to the test like an actual far range shot so we can see how big the grouping is, shooting regular paint through a regular barrel, uh, and then, you know, take steps from there. Let's go. All right, guys, here's the deal. We're going to be reloading, changing barrels, chronoing, and adjusting our rig with our scope here off the camera, just to save you guys some boredom because it's really time consuming and I'm sure you guys don't want to see that. So what we have, is our die CG. We're going to be using it as our as our control paint, um, as our control. And we're going to be shooting that target down there. We're going to put ten rounds down there. Check out the grouping. See how accurate it is. Um, we have our standard UL uh, uh, barrel that comes with the die dam. Uh, I think believe it's six eight eight bore. So let's get to it. Now we have our mag with 10 rounds of first strikes. We've already chronoed. We've already made adjustments to our rig and our sight. So let's go rolling.
This is it, guys. We got 10 more rounds. We put the FSR barrel on this die dam. Didn't have to make any adjustments to our sights and optics. So let's see. Uh, oh, keep in mind, I'm shooting with a sandbag with my left hand on the tank just so I can get the, the, uh, the rise correct so I can dial it up. And I'm not, I mean, besides that, I'm just putting the mask right in the middle of the reticle. So let's see how well this does. So there it is guys, pretty straightforward. I mean, you guys obviously saw how the barrel performed, um, performed very well, but uh, there is one thing that Lapco did warn us about it, is that after between, somewhere between 100 shots to 200 shots of first strike rounds, uh, you can actually notice some buildup of the first strikes. Um, you know, since, it's, since it is a tighter fit compared to a standard barrel, um, it is going to take off or leave a little bit of residue on the inside of your barrel. So the best way that we noticed or that we found to clean it was hot water and a straight shot squeegee or something like that, something that's firm um, that can actually pull all the debris out. Um, if you're using like a cotton uh, barrel swab or like a microfiber swab or something like that or a sheepskin swab, um, it is going to take a little bit more elbow grease to actually get it clean. So all in all guys, I mean, Having to clean your barrel after 100 or to 200 shots, it's really not that big of a deal for me. If I'm shooting 100 rounds in a game or in a day, I'm probably gonna have somewhere close to 80 eliminations. Um, I'm not going to just shoot uh, an expensive round all willy-nilly at somebody. Um, I'm going to take a shot when I'm certain that I'm gonna be able to hit them. And especially with this barrel, I can be at longer ranges uh, than I'm used to with my regular gun or whatever. So to me, if I had this barrel, it really, the pros outweighed the cons as far as like raising the, the, the FPS. Um, I mean, it's 100 rounds, or first strike rounds. I don't know when I'll be able to shoot that in a day. Um, but the fact that you get range, an increase in range, an increase in grouping, an increase in accuracy with first strike rounds, which are already insanely accurate compared to regular paint, um, is just amazing. Uh, speaking of regular paint, you can shoot regular paint through this, but the barrel is at 683 bore, so you would have to find some paint that's relatively small um, in order to shoot it. But um, and like say for the example at the dam, if you have a if you have a paintball that's at 79, you can shoot regular paint through this. But as we all know, uh, rifled barrels with regular paint, you have to adjust quite a bit in order to get you know the paint to where you want to go. Um, so that being said, guys, if you want to pick up these barrels or anything we've used in this video today, come check us out on hustlepaintball.com. If you have any questions or concerns or suggestions about future videos, email us at videos at hustlepaintball.com. Uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, check out our, our blog, read our blog. Um, and of course, join us on PB Riot. We'll be talking about everything paintball related, um, as well as uh, Hustle employees' new haircuts. Uh, which I'm sure you guys will see you later. But that, that's it, guys. That's, that concludes my review. Now I'm going to go watch a video on uh, a horrible rap song uh, by Soldier Boy talking about Super Saiyan Swagger. I'll see you guys later.
how he's still alive and he makes a hundred times more than me, I have no idea. Because he looks like Goku. Looks like Goku. And Gohan. Swag. Swag.